Hey you guys, Tammy here. I just wanted to come in and do a reading that um, I have been inspired to do by my guides. And sometimes they give me these downloads that I don't know exactly who I'm looking into. <laughs> I don't know who exactly it's for, but if you're here listening to this at this time, I think this is gonna make sense to you. So what they, I kind of got woken up. <laughs> they wake me up with these messages sometimes and then I go back to sleep and hope I remember. And they gave me this um, download about a personality um, female. Okay, I think some of you are dealing with this female kind of across the board, kind of an archetype of someone who is uh, causing a real problem for you either in a group setting or in a family or both. Um, and this person is very passive aggressive and this person is um, out to steal your joy all the time. This is somebody who makes these little comments and you know, not, not somebody who is physically aggressive in any way, but who is very emotionally abusive to either their family or their friends or just anybody they bump into and they're just so passive aggressive they say it with a smile on their face and then they walk on and they know they've zapped your energy <laughs> so i want to look into this person it felt like a really nasty kind of energy chippy you want your cookie take a nap okay <laughs> you have a cookie and take a nap chippy's got it made so i'm going to pull some cards on this person we'll just see what we get um like what's up with this person why are they doing this to you or your family or their children or whoever it is there you know this could be um, adult children and this is a mother or this could be an aunt or I, I, I do get family for some of you and I also get group settings like this could be somebody involved in any sort of a, a club or any sort of a um, like a church maybe for some of you I don't specifically get church I get more uh, clubs or events somebody who's planning events things like that and this person is just so passive-aggressive all right let's see let's see what we get on this person yeah <laughs> first card up the theft card so whoever this is you guys this person really wants to steal your joy this is all about stealing joy and this is all about this person trying to, like if they see you happy or successful, they're gonna say or do something that brings that down because they're out, they're sneaky. I feel like they're just looking for people with a happy moment and they come in and like <laughs> zap you, you know, just to make you doubt or try to make you doubt yourself or um, doubt how you're doing something or doubt your success. They're, they're all about that because they, um, they want to steal it like they don't have that kind of happiness for themselves or success in their lives and I feel like they're trying to steal that there's something about for some of you this person thinks that you're richer than they are I see a really nice house in the background it's almost like this person wants to um, take digs at you because of where you live or how you live or your lifestyle things like that really nasty energy there's something here about that person never feeling like they have enough for themselves. Very, um, like they see you as being very self-sufficient and they're not. And I, I just see them being really unhappy, like really um, wanting to jerk the rug out from under you and that sort of thing. This is somebody who can't, feels like they can't stand on their own. You know, they feel like um, if, if they were left on their own, they couldn't stand on their own like they know that like they really are very clear that things are not uh, stable for them in that way and they see you as having that wow yeah there's a lot of betrayal around this person i feel like this person would um again would steal something from you but it's more in an emotional way i i more get this person coming in in an emotional sense Especially if they have any sense that you've been through something emotional, they'll really come in to zap you. It's almost like they prey on any sort of weakness they see. They, um, instead of being supportive, they may pretend they're being supportive. 
you know, but it's always these, what, what, um, I've heard is backhanded compliments. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they really don't like your success. This four of wands. They don't like where you live. I feel like, or either they're flaunting where they live and making fun of where you live, or there's something about class. There's something about with this person trying to always one up you and feel better than you because they don't feel better than you. They, they have no confidence for real, like deep down. I feel like when they look in the mirror, they don't like what they see. And some of that's because of their inner radiance. They're lacking that and they see that in you. So they come in and they try to zap you for that. Yeah. This person I feel like is, um, here's 10 of Pentacles, but this is, I'm not getting a classical 10 of Pentacles meaning here. Okay. So let me see if I can explain this. I feel like this person is putting up a big facade, whoever this is. They're putting up this huge facade of their life is so perfect. And they go to these black tie events maybe. And they, um, you know, they or their person or their partner or their family, you know, supports and, you know, some big charity or there's something like that which is great. I'm not putting that down. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying this particular person I was told to do this reading for because somebody needs to know about this person. I feel like this is all a facade. I feel like this person is really out to steal things. And um, if you're in a charitable, just for some of you, if you're in a charitable event, watch out for this person. If you know who I'm talking about, I almost feel like this person is involved in a charity so that they can then steal from the charity. That's one meaning. That's not the whole meaning of this reading, but it is one thing I'm getting. Uh, there's some kind of gala event going on here, and I feel like this person is using it to their advantage in some way, and the theft card did come up. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. All right. Because um, mostly I'm getting this person is an emotional thief. You know, they're there to, like, be a... Um, you know, a psychic vampire, <laughs> you know, they come in and like either drain your energy, try to steal your joy and things like that because there's a lot of betrayal and they would betray you. They would totally throw you under the bus. They would totally lie to you. You know, they'd be like, oh, I'm really supportive on the surface. And then underneath they would betray you. They would throw you under the bus. So this would be the person who go, here, let me help you. Let me help you do this. Here, I will tell everybody. I will support you. Just sign this contract. Come on in <laughs> to this club <laughs> or whatever this is. And then when you get there, they totally throw you under the bus. They're like, yeah, we're going to offer you all of this stability, help you put down roots, maybe help you buy a house or help you um, be in this organization or help you you know in this charity and then when you least expect it zap they will throw you under the bus with this five of cups energy somebody needs to watch out for this person I, I feel like a lot of people don't see through this person I feel like this person is so narcissistic like people think they're really nice until you know until they deal with the dark side and I don't feel like this person uses their dark side of this five uh, seven of swords energy against everybody they don't do this to everybody otherwise they have the reputation right they they pick and choose who their sort of victims are that is what i get they pick and choose and they go after whoever they feel could be most successful or the person who could take over their position the person who would be better at what they do in this charitable um, environment. So if they see you, for instance, as the person who could, like, everybody's going to like you more than they like this person who's a fake, they're going to throw you under the bus. They're going to talk about you. They're going to tell lies about you. They're going to totally betray you. And I feel like for some of you, it has caused a big loss. I feel like it's caused a loss emotionally and it's caused a loss um, in a society sort of manner. Like I feel like this person has told so many lies about you that other people who ordinarily liked you would have suddenly stopped talking to you for no reason. Like maybe they just backed away and stopped talking to you. Whew. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Here's the chariot having to do with this person. What does this mean? The chariot. Oh, it could be a cancer. 
could be a Cancerian energy. Or, this is not a classic meaning of this card, but I'm getting it. This person may have cancer, maybe getting cancer from their, like, caused by their own emotional cancer. They're sort of like a cancer, but I don't mean, I'm, I'm talking about two different things here. This person could be a zodiac cancer. This person also, as a separate meaning, could be like a cancer in this group, wherever this person is and whatever group you're dealing with. Something about success, but carrying a very heavy burden. Here's, here's one thing I'm getting too about this person, whoever this is. I feel like this person is just barely keeping it together. I feel like they're right on the edge of really losing it based on this chariot. Like they're feeling really overwhelmed. They're being very deceptive. They wonder which day people are going to figure out their real game, you know? And then I, I see them like they're looking kind of tattered. You can see how the shirt is torn on this guy. I am talking about a feminine energy here though. And I feel like this person, whoever this person is, their partner, if they have a masculine partner, um, could be overworked and it could be that they are also playing, well, they are, that's what I'm hearing. They are playing these games with their partner as well. So their partner is looking or feeling very tattered and not happy. <laughs> this person's like, like a, serial passive aggressive sociopath seriously and they seem all bubbly and happy on the surface that's what I'm getting like people are like oh that person's so friendly but when you see the real them they will zap you <laughs> okay yeah this person collaborates with a group this three of pentacles this person's definitely in a group really takes advantage of some sort of a group setting as a volunteer or a charity or something like that. That's where you're going to find this person collaborating. Yeah, and this person could be a younger person with this Page of Cups, or it could be somebody very emotionally immature. It could be a narcissist. I said that earlier. Sometimes Page of Cups is a narcissist. Somebody who, you know, at first seems like a, they're your friend. At first. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anything else you need to know about this very passive aggressive person? And I'm going to switch over and um, do a little bit of clarification here. This person, um, there's something about a Queen of Wands energy here too. Let me ask why they're going to Queen of Wands. This person may have fire energy that either, um, you know, I said Cancer first, so some of you might be dealing with somebody who is a Cancer along the sign, but also some of you might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo, or it could be in their charts, okay? Or you could be one of these dealing with the other one. So keep this in mind, okay? And a king of cups. Oh. So if you're the king of cups, this could be you dealing with this passive aggressive person, potentially. Also, the passive aggressive person that I'm looking into could be with this king of cups, could be like involved with this person who's very easygoing, very nice, very, um, you know, maybe a doctor or a healer of some sort, counselor, that kind of thing. Let's switch over. Let's see what else we need to know. Let's go to these tea leaf cards for a minute. Anything else we need to know about this very passive aggressive person? Ooh, the chain. Chains of events, chains of events that will affect your life. And I feel like this person Look at this. This is like a chain of people. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it makes me think. And I'm feeling like once you've linked with that person, it just tends to keep linking and linking and linking to more and more people. Like I said, this person would throw you under the bus or has already. And I feel like that just keeps going. It's almost like then they're talking behind your back. Like, you know, like they're flipping it 
like their behavior, but they're flipping it saying you did it, you know, so they're making you look like the narcissist in this group, whatever this group is. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. The nest card. And I get the sense that this is what this person wants. Oh, now I'm hearing it. This person's trying to make this charity or this organization or whatever it is they're in, um, it's trying to make them like a family. So it's like they're playing out their family drama through the people in this group. So they could be treating you like their mean older sister, <laughs> for instance. They could be treating you like their, um, you know, ex-boyfriend from fifth grade that left them. <laughs> or, you know, weird stuff. That's what I'm, I mean, I, those are extreme examples because this person's extreme. And I'm getting that this person is playing out they want this emotional security from a loving family and they're seeing this organization as a as their family. This is how whacked out this person is, okay? That's really insightful. Really insightful. All right. Um, someone new is entering your life. I'm going to ask what this has to do with that person and increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. Let me ask clarification on this. Hold on. Because I'm not sure if this is for you who are, you know, you're dealing with this person or the person. Share filled. September. In September. Okay, I think this is for you. If you're listening to this reading, I feel like there's somebody new entering your life in September. So if you've been dealing with this person and maybe you've walked, had to walk away from this group because of this person, okay? I feel like there's something new replacing that. I feel like there's some, I mean, this is what they're showing me, somebody new coming in, which also causes more spiritual growth. It's almost like because you dealt with that person and you've had all these spiritual insights about this, you're looking at this from a whole different angle than they are. It's like you've had a lot of um, spiritual growth from inadvertently, <laughs> I will say, from this person. Feeling tied down or frustrated. So you might be feeling tied down or frustrated from this person, some of you, depending on who this person is you're dealing with. Final words about this situation. Here's um, honor and respect will come to you. Look at this. So if this person has thrown you under the bus and made you look bad to whoever this group of people is, um, that's going to change. There may be somebody coming in to replace that person. Like I've seen the chair filled. There could be somebody new coming in to take that person's role in that organization that they consider their family and either they leave or Somebody invites you to do it. I feel like somebody important is starting to see through that person and it's gonna straighten things out in your favor. There's also uh, beware of great pride. And that of course goes to that person. They do have a lot of pride. And this person, um, it doesn't matter because you are getting great respect, okay? Anything else? Anything else, final words about this very passive-aggressive, joy-stealing person? You know, this is the kind of person that would come up and say, you know, like, oh, you know, I love your, your pink blouse. Um, it, it's nice you're wearing that instead of, you know, like the other color pink you used to wear. <laughs> you know, they would be, just as an example, you know, that's somebody like that. Like, they have to have a little put down in there. Like, they give you a compliment to, like, look good, but then they steal your joy. You know, it's that kind of, this is just a stupid little example, but you know what I mean. Final words here, we got the bat, um, which is take, take care, enemies are working against you. Yeah, this person I'm reading into is definitely your enemy, definitely. And they are talking behind your back. I hate to say it, but they are. And this is dealings or relationship with a woman. Yeah, this is a woman who's talking behind your back who is your enemy. So just know that. But I think whoever she is, I think she's being replaced. 
I feel like at some point, either this person's getting ill and they're going to have to drop out. I feel like they're getting out of your space in some way. But I can see this situation and I felt it really strongly when the guides are saying, you know, to look into this situation, this person, because I feel like a lot of you are dealing with this person in your in your life, either on the job or in a fam, you know, family member or in some organization. I strongly get volunteer organizations that this person is out there. Um, it's almost like the same evil spirit has, you know, gone out and zapped a bunch of people in these organizations. And now it's like there's a narcissist planted in all these places. That's how I'm seeing it literally. Because this is not just one person I'm looking at. I mean, this is a personality type that the guides told me to look into as to, you know, look at the deeper meaning of what is going on and how that's going to play out for you. So I hope that was helpful. Um, it's interesting, interesting to look into that. So let me know in the comments, okay? You all have a great day. Bye.